My name is Andrew Knight and I'm a veterinary professor of animal welfare. Before I was recruited into academia, I practiced small animal veterinary medicine in the United Kingdom for most of a decade. I was recruited to become director of the Clinical Skills Laboratory at Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine in the Caribbean in 2013. And Ross is one of the world's largest veterinary schools. At Ross we would use models, mannequins and simulators to teach veterinary clinical and surgical skills to veterinary students. We would start in the very first semester, building in a stepwise fashion each semester, so that our students were particularly well prepared when they came to start their actual surgical courses uh, toward the end of their degrees. And as director of the Clinical Skills Laboratory, I was proud to hear that our students were considered particularly well prepared by our partner uh, veterinary schools on the US mainland when they went to start their clinical rotations in the final parts of their degree. Recently, a colleague and I published an academic paper describing the steps that were taken to establish the Clinical Skills Laboratory at Ross University. The university initially considered the range of skills it wished to teach, the physical space and equipment that would be needed, the storage and air conditioning requirements that would be needed because, of course, uh, it was a hot tropical environment, the facilities that would be needed to deliver PowerPoint lectures and case study presentations, and the other essentials that would be necessary for example, to handle cadaver specimens. An appropriate campus building was converted to meet these needs, teaching staff were hired, and models and mannequins were sourced for the teaching of veterinary clinical and surgical skills. The Clinical Skills Laboratory has developed considerably since its establishment in 2007, with a range of new and innovative uh, simulators being developed by Ross faculty. Subsequent student surveys have shown high satisfaction with most students feeling the Clinical Skills Laboratory has significantly improved their surgical and clinical skills. Ross's Clinical Skills program has since developed considerably and it currently offers instruction in a diverse array of surgical, medical and other clinical skills. We hope the description that we've provided in our article of our experiences in designing and establishing Ross's Clinical Skills Laboratory may assist others embarking on similar projects elsewhere.